Hello friends, welcome back to another video. If you're new to my channel, I just started a YouTube channel where I'll be sharing a lot of creativity, productivity, and a lot of day of the life type content. So if you're interested, please make sure to subscribe. Today, I'm so excited to show you what I painted. So I painted this last night in a galaxy theme that says in Arabic, Oh Lord, increase me in knowledge. I spent about two hours painting this and I've done a few variations of this painting before with different colors. Sometimes I'll put red and pink and other types of colors in, but this galaxy theme with some type of language on top is literally so easy and the result always comes out beautiful. So I'm really excited to show you how I did this. So if you're interested in seeing my process, keep watching. So I started off by painting the base white. Having a nice white base under all of my paintings makes sure that the colors go on completely smoothly and also they end up so vibrant. I just use this acrylic paint that I got from Michaels but sometimes I'll do three to four coats but this time I only did one. I then prepared my canvas to start painting. So the colors I chose for this were a turquoise, a teal, and a blue color. So I just started dabbing it in. I used a sponge brush and I just pressed it in, you know, like dab, 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 dab. <laughs> and then I did the same thing for all of the colors. And the key is to really just keep going. I know sometimes it looks kind of out of place and it looks a little bit weird, but this is exactly where the magic started to happen. All of the colors started to blend in just because the brush was still kind of wet. And this really makes a difference. So I just kept doing this. For a really long time, I watched some Netflix while doing it, and I think painting while watching Netflix is probably my favorite activity. It is so peaceful, and I literally just sit there and dab and blend in all the colors until I get the correct type of look that I'm looking for. And I think for this one, I was just trying to get kind of the light colors in the center and the darker ones on the outside, with sparks of different light and purples in the middle. And the reason I really like painting this galaxy is because every time it looks just a little bit different. Sometimes I'll do this with pink, sometimes I'll do this with red, and for this one I added the red in just a smidge in the center. And then what really makes the whole galaxy come together is when you start to add in the black. I add the black around the edges first and kind of just blending it in. And I go around the entire thing in the black and just keep blending it in. Having the sponge be really wet helps all the colors blend together. Because the last thing you want is to have all the colors look separated and then it won't really look like a galaxy. It'll just look kind of like a blob of different colors and that is not what we're going for. Um, so I just kind of freehand it and I think that's what you should do too. It's so nice just to kind of see where it goes and honestly it's a little bit scary at first because you think it's not going to look cute but I promise it'll come together. And then this is the fun part. So for the calligraphy I did a basic outline in the beginning and then I just started doing all of the letters. Honestly this brush I used today was not the correct brush for it. What I would actually suggest is using a chisel tip brush and you want to find a chisel tip brush that matches the size of your canvas. For more specific Arabic rules and calligraphy rules, I would refer to one of the online resources that you can have. Each letter in Arabic when you're doing calligraphy should match up to the point of your brush. So in my case, I wouldn't say that this is perfect in any means, but I think that you can make do with whatever brush you have. And in the future, you can try to do Arabic in more of a clean and more rule-oriented type of way. But even though the letters in the beginning don't look perfect, I ended up going back in with a smaller brush afterwards and fixing the letters to kind of what they should look like. And doing this really helps. So at first, you just get a general idea in and then you can go back in and put in the letters like how you want. And I think this really helps me because sometimes the letters look not as clean at first, but once you go in, everything just comes together at the end. So for this next part, I'm just going to fast forward a little bit so you can see the calligraphy and then we'll come back when I'm going to start outlining. So if you wanted to pause the video and quickly see how I did my Arabic, feel free to match it up. And if you wanted to do any other verse, you can search up online one of the free vectors that a lot of artists have created for anyone to use in their Arabic calligraphy. Oftentimes, you'll see these vectors are free for use, but just make sure that if the specific design is created by an artist, you get permission to recreate it for your personal use. But otherwise, just try having fun. If you're new to calligraphy, you can try doing your name, you can try some different verses you find online, or you can just kind of write anything in English or whatever language you're comfortable with. 
I love doing Bangla art on top of this too. I think the galaxy background is literally perfect for starting out with a clean background and and right now what you see me doing is outlining. I use this Sharpie gold oil paint marker to do the outlines around the letters and really outlining makes all the letters look so much cleaner. And sometimes when I go in for the outlines, I'll make the shapes a little bit more like how I want them to look and then go in later with the white marker and fill it in or with some white paint and fill it in. And as you see that definitely should have waited to do this gold because the white was getting all over me. So then I just went in and did all the accents. So then I went in and did the same exact accents in white just to add a little bit dimension. When I do these types of painting, I always like to kind of mix it up with the whites and golds because I think when you put them all together, that's when it looks the best. And this is exactly what I was talking about before when I said I go back in and clean up some of the letters just so that it looks a little bit nicer at the end. And I think doing this really helps because it makes everything look so smooth and really nice. So then when I finish up doing all of these little last minute fixes, this is what it looks like at the end. And for this one, I was pretty happy with it, but definitely I'm not a professional at all. I'm completely self-taught, but I think it's really easy to keep practicing and get better. And that's my motto. The more I practice, the better I'll get. And the last step of this galaxy is my favorite part, which is adding the little dots in to represent the stars. And I'm telling you, the moment you do this, all of a sudden, everything comes together. Even when I feel a little bit doubtful in the middle of how it's looking, when I'll put in some shooting stars, I'll go in with the gold again and put in a few gold stars. And doing this really makes everything come together. Sometimes I'll try the splatter technique with the brush and kind of trying to spray it on like I tried now. But usually I just like to use the tip of the brush just to make these little dots. And then to add in the last thing, which is going to be the English calligraphy, I'll just space it out with my hands and then start writing it in. For this one, I wrote, I wrote, Lord, increase me in knowledge in Arabic. And I did the English transliteration of the verse that I had just done. And this du'a is so nice to have in any student's home. And that's exactly who this gift was for. I think it's so cool to have this gift be with someone throughout their entire academic journey and that really means a lot to me. And then after I did this, I was done. And let me know what you think. Did you like it? Do you think this is easy? Definitely you should try it out at home, pause the video at any point and just try to do it on your own. And the last step I did was just add on the gloss spray which made everything look so nice and shiny. And look, I was done and I'm so happy with how it came out. So thank you so much for making it to the end of the video. I hope this showed you a little bit of my process and hopefully you'll be able to try this at home too. If you have any questions or need any tips, please feel free to message me on Instagram at Arona Does Things. And if anyone's interested in purchasing a painting from me, feel free to DM me for that too. Or you can try to find something on my Etsy shop listed below. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to like, comment on this video, and please subscribe to my channel. I'm really excited to keep making more content. And if you like this painting video, please let me know. I'm happy to show you so many more different types of art that I make. And let me know what your favorite part of this video was. I'll see you again on the next video of Verona Does Things. Bye!